So here are our treatments, and what we see here is we've got our round pots, and those were treated with root hormone, and so we haven't checked these yet. We have this beautiful Vancouver Centennial. You can see the leaves are still intact on a couple of the cuttings. Hey everybody, Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden. Today, it's Sunday, and we're gonna talk to you about our cuttings and give you an update on our geranium cuttings. Yeah, some of them may have rooted. We're not sure yet, but we'll check it out in a minute. But before we get to that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on every daily video. So guys, we're in our greenhouse. You can see that here's our heating mat, and there is our thermostat. Right now, it's roughly about 32 or 34 degrees out here, and in the greenhouse, the soil temperature off the heat mat for these uh, for these cuttings is about 52 degrees. It's getting up there. We've yeah. noticed and we reread the the information for this heating mat and it says that the heating mat will heat the soil of any potted plants uh, up to 20 degrees above the ambient temperature outside. So there you go, 32 outside, 52 on the mat. Which kind of brings up a bit of a problem because we have some very tender cuttings that we took earlier this year, one of them being our pelargoniums, another one being our petunias. So we realized that that's not going to really be good for those cuttings. You don't want those kind of tender cuttings out in that type of temperature because it's really bad for their tissue. So we scrambled yesterday, got them all collected and took them inside. So everything else, all our other cuttings are able to stay out here except the geraniums. So here are our treatments and what we see here is we've got our round pots and those were treated with root hormone and so we haven't checked these yet to see if they've rooted but these two pots with these four cuttings in them were treated with root hormone. Now we've got our water cuttings. This is this treatment and there's some interesting findings and we'll show you here in a minute on those which is great. And then we've got our cuttings that were untreated no root hormone in these square looking pots. So just to tell you guys, there was some attrition, there was some dying of some cuttings. Um, they just didn't make it for various reasons. One being that we left them outside a little too long and yeah, unfortunately. Uh, they did get a little bit of that hard freeze. So we actually have two different types of geraniums here. And if you haven't caught that video, we'll link that down below so you can check that out when we took them. We have this beautiful Vancouver Centennial. You can see the leaves are still intact on a couple of the cuttings. The leaves kind of shriveled up here, but don't worry about that because there's live tissue here. We know that this is still a healthy cutting. Who knows if it rooted yet though? And we're gonna check that out. We're gonna check that out. The other cutting we have is a zonal geranium and it's kind of a beautiful coral, kind of orangey color. So those are, we really wanted to save those and make more of those yeah, plants. Yeah, that flower is beautiful. So, uh, yeah. um, most of the literature states that you can check cuttings between four and six weeks, but maybe as many as eight weeks. So we're on the very early end of that calendar. It's been exactly four weeks today. So we're just gonna see what they look like. We're gonna be very careful. So guys, let's get into this and see what we got. So do you wanna look at the water cuttings first? Yeah, let's do the water. Okay. We kind of cheated on these already a little bit. We kind of already looked, we peaked. So on this big one right here, we're looking, we're looking, what's that? Nope, that's just some stuff in the water. So I no, don't see anything on that nothing yet. yet. Okay, nothing yet. But the cool thing is, is that we know this cutting's still alive and has tissue growing because it's got some new growth right here. These two leaves right here, super cool. And then it's got these green leaves right here. It's still photosynthesizing yeah. and actively growing. So that's a really good sign that this cutting is not out of the race yet. It's still in the race, that's good, good stuff. Okay, so next, now that was the zonal geranium. Here is that Vancouver Centennial. Now, oh, oh look at that. There's one. There's one right there. All right. That's cool. Yeah, and it, it, it did what we thought it was gonna do. It grew off of that axle where we cut that part of the stem. There's a bud in there and it just changed up some of its cell structure and produced a root. Isn't that cool? That's awesome. Now we've got some other little nodule things going on here. And so we'll keep an eye on this guy and uh, that's cool. That's so super cool. So we've got yeah. roots. And then our last one here, another Centennial, Vancouver Centennial. Oh, there's oh, one right there, yep, see, right we, at the base. We did see that one already, so yeah. that is great. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay guys, we have rooted geranium Yay. cuttings. So again, like Sean said, we'll leave these out here through the day so they can get some sunlight, but we will bring them in later tonight before it freezes. Totally, yep, yep. Okay, so now we've got three cuttings in this untreated uh, soil, this pot here. So we're gonna look, we're just gonna do a real quick test here. Just pull a little bit. Oh, that one kind of gave a little bit. So that one, 
that really didn't give, so that one's that's that might be rude. Yeah, there's a little not much give on that one. Okay, so okay. the way we like to do this is we like to oh and guys before we get into this, make sure to come out. We haven't done this, been kind of busy. Uh, come out, get these dead leaves off of here. Um, you don't want any disease or anything else to uh, take over these cuttings. They're very vulnerable right now and susceptible to different things because they are cuttings. They're stressed. They're trying to grow as new plants, so it's easy for disease to get in here oh, and do its totally thing. We totally need to do these too. I know. The ones I just pointed out. I yeah. know. So, yeah, got some work to do, of course. Okay, so here we go. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Not seeing anything. Nothing on the outside. Nope. Nope, not yet. Nothing yet. It's possible that something could be going on under the soil, though. Mm -hmm. right? Oh, definitely. Yep. So that's good news. Yep. Oh, so not those yet. Those are the treated ones. Okay. Let's get in here and let's do a little bit of just cleaning. And guys, these come right off. There's really nothing to this. These come right off. Um, I'm really glad you mentioned that because I was wondering about that. We're going to need to come in and clip this piece off here. We don't have our snips. At the, we'll, we'll do that in a minute, though. Okay. So here we go. Let's try this guy out and see if we got any roots on these untreated cuttings. No root hormone. Okay. All right. Well, mm, not yet. Nothing yet. But again, as Allison said, this is early we in, can, yeah, in we, the cycle here. So We can never wait. Who wants to wait? We want to know. We want these little dead leaves just pop right off, so that's why I'm just using my fingers. So, last untreated pot here of cuttings. Let's see what we can come up with here. Let's do this. Okay. Kind of thinking there's not going to be anything mm -hmm. yet. I'm not thinking so either. I think we're a little early on we these guys. We are very early, I think. Mm -hmm. Yep, nothing yet. Okay. So guys, just to recap, we've got roots on the cuttings in water, super cool. No roots on the untreated cuttings in soil. So, so now let's go to the treated cuttings and see what we got. Okay, there we go. Very hopeful right now. Mm -hmm. This will be cool if we do. Uh, mm. Nothing yet. Seen anything yet? No, nothing yet. Okay, well, so well, let's do that. Okay. And these look like oh, we've got some leaves. Oh, to we got some. Clean yeah, up totally. Over yeah, here too. Get those ones too. Okay. Here we go. Last one. Mm, nope. Unfortunately, not yet. Negative. Okay. So, all right, got to do some more waiting. So only roots in the water, which is interesting because usually pelargoniums, uh, these geraniums, they don't like really wet conditions. They actually usually rot in wet conditions. So to have them submerged in water exclusively and have them grow roots and actually still be growing leaves and their stems is interesting. Uh, it's an interesting result. So who knew? Um, so we'll be back in probably about another two weeks or maybe another four weeks. Uh, and see and give you an update on the rooting. It's always so hard to wait and wait to see if anything has rooted, but we need to be patient and continue caring for them and being really mindful of the weather temps, especially at night. So if you have any comments or questions for us, leave them down below. We love hearing from you guys. Give us that thumbs up, let us know we're doing a good job, and subscribe to our channel so you get updates on our latest videos. And we'll be back tomorrow with our next daily garden care video. So come on back to see what we're up to and have a great day ahead. Have a great day, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.